I'm Captain Blackheart with LandofNerds.com. I am here with two glorious pirate authors here, J.G. Nikitin. Nikitin. Nikitin and J.J. Sepp. They Seep. Seep. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. <laughs> My pronunciation of names... Well done. Well done, ...has sir. no comparison. Uh, <laughs> we're here at the uh, Phoenix Comic Con Fan Fest. And uh, we wanted to talk about these authors' books in here. Uh, we thought it was really glorious because we have two wondrous pirate authors here who both have the same two first names and middle names. And they both write pirate fiction. So, with that understood, hi. Hello. Ahoy. Ahoy there. <laughs> So, uh, to get started, uh, why don't you guys uh, tell the glorious story of how you guys met yesterday, because this is very interesting. <laughs> That's a difficult story to tell. It was a lot of me going to this booth and you going to that booth and being confused if we were talking about ourselves or each other. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then me telling everybody, I met this really great author. Her name is Jen. <laughs> and she writes about pirates. And they're like, that's you. And they're like, no. No, I'm not talking about myself. <laughs> not that egotistical. Nice. So I was there when you guys had met, and I was laughing my uh, my butt off because basically you're like, oh, JJ, all right, so what's your first name? And she says, Jen. And you're like, oh, my God, my name's Jen. And then we say, oh, well, what's your middle name then? It could not possibly be the same. <laughs> and then she said... What? It is. It's Jean. Jean. And Jean. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Come to find out, it's just off by one letter. We have two N's over here so, in the first name. Two, two N's. Oh, two N's in the first name, yes. Two N's in the first name, one N on this side. When oh. you do Jen, yes. Yes, when you do, you the, do the Jen. the preferred shortening form. Yes. The Whole name, <laughs> I assume, it's the same. Yes. Awesome. Now, of course, we've noted that they wrote both write these amazing piratey books of mm -hmm. fiction. Um, they could be no further from apart as far as their uh, actual story is concerned. <laughs> so, uh, could you describe your book a little bit? Oh yes, this is flushed. If that sounds toilety, it is. Because in this story, a 10-year-old Lucas gets flushed down the toilet to join a sewer sailing pirate crew with weapons such as this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the adventure. So, so I, I end to say that this is more uh, along the lines of a children's book. Yep, I call it a middle grade book. A middle grade book. Mm -hmm. That's good though. Yeah. Good. Mid All right. High grade, middle grade. High grade, middle grade. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind describing your wondrous books, and I know you've kind of got a series going on here. Well, yes, but the second book that I'm holding is not part of the series, but oh. it actually does kind of help tie the two of us together again. Really? Yes. Mm. So. Blackstrap's Ecstasy is the first in the series of my pirate books, and it's about Captain Blackstrap and how she gets her crew, and the ship's name is Ecstasy. It's nothing weird. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and these pirates are out on the seas. They're, you know, traditional golden age of piracy pirates. They're not in, they don't have bathrooms and plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> Sad for them. <laughs> but what's interesting is that my character from this book who is just a little bit younger than your character, Lucas, she goes under a bridge and down into some tunnels and deals with trolls. So there's some underwater, underground stuff going on with Tying both of them. it together. Yes. <laughs> or really good marketing, but you know. <laughs> now, as I understand, especially with your you, you, your Trolls book is more uh, kind of like her book. Yes, it's, it's more of a middle, middle school or middle grade yeah. book. But I believe your Black Strax is a little bit more on the adult side, if I'm not it, mistaken. It is, but it's not, it is not a romance novel. Okay. But it is more mature audiences. I tell people probably 13 and up. Because, 13 and up. Because, you know, the pirates and their pirates will do what pirates will do. So. Uh -huh. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't, there's a lot of allusions to things going on, <laughs> but, you know. Um, do, does the, the book has a second, the Black Jack Empress has a second book, doesn't it? Yeah. We're, we're going to just say, it'll be out soon. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> out soon. Out soon, yes. Max Got Mil it. Maximilian's Despair is the second one, and it will be out soon. 
But I believe in this, yes, there is the first chapter in the back of this one. So Very cool. Get a sneak preview. Now, where can they get uh, your books? Where can they find your books if they were wanting to purchase them? This one here, you can find it on Amazon, um, barnesandnoble.com. It's in an ebook and a paperback. And uh, that's about it. We're on Amazon, huh? Okay. You? Uh, Amazon, and you can go to some of the local bookstores out here, the little bookstores. And mm-hmm. you can also get them from uh, brickcavemedia.com. And you can also a lot of different events with AZ Publishing. So. AZ Publishing. Very cool. Yeah, I've heard of them. Very cool. Well, I appreciate it. I had to get these two lovely ladies in the same spot at the same time, the two JJ authors of Pirateness here in Arizona. So uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to uh, talk again sometime soon and see what other adventures are happening within the world of piracy here in Arizona. Oh, it would be my pleasure. Absolutely. <laughs> awesome. Well, on behalf of LandonNerds.com, thanks you for, uh, for talking with us today. And uh, we'll see you guys soon, okay? Thank you. Enjoy FanFest. Oh, yeah. Bye.